joys in the middle tank. What sucks is like, what do they do? Like, send someone out. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I um, woke up. I'm gonna do some morning skincare, and I'm trying out a new brand today that I wanted to share with you guys. So this portion of today's video is sponsored by, I think it's Yves Rocher, which it's a French brand. So excuse me if I totally botched that. Any of our European people, you probably are very familiar with this brand. I'm gonna start with some of the skincare just to start off the morning. This is their um, ultra fresh cleansing gel. They have micellar water and a gel serum and hydrator. So very like cooling for this really hot weather, which is made really nice. But I'm going to start with one of their little masks. There are four different in the um, line and they all kind of do different things. So one is kind of minty, a purifying mint gel mask. One's a scrub, a foaming mask, and a soothing chamomile mask. So I think I might do the gel one kind of to give me a little zing really quick. I'm gonna put that on. Ooh, it's like a gel mask. Put that on while I like brush my teeth and get ready for the day. So this brand has been around for like years and years. They're like skincare experts and they really focus on like botanical beauty and they have all sorts of things. I think skincare is like their particular focus, but they also make uh, makeup products, hair products, body products, all which I've heard are really good. So I'm gonna let that just kind of sit on my face nice and like just mm, gel and minty kind of help wake me up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse that off and then go in with the gel line. Okay, wow, that smells and feels absolutely amazing. I love that cleanser. Wow, it's really nice. Okay, turning back this way because the lighting is much better, but I'm now gonna go in with the um, anti-fatigue moisturizing fresh gel. And this is, oh, this is actually for eye. Okay, that's amazing. Ooh, it has like opal in it. And I love this. You guys know I really show, like when I'm underslept, I really show it in my face a lot. Um, and this has like a little opalescence in it. So it's kind of like makes you glow. I don't know if you guys can see that. I think it's kind of hard to see, but that's pretty cool. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with their gel cream moisturizer. This is 48 hour hydration. Mm, smells so good. I really love the scents. I feel like they're so chic and like European. Wow, it feels really cool. That moisturizer is like very gel-like and just like really sinks in, um, which I really like for summertime. It's kind of like, not like tacky, but like, you know, like gel. But I'm also really excited to try out their new Radiance Revealing 10 Hour Foundation. So I'm really excited about this. I am like all about a glowing, radiant, kind of lightweight look that is like everything that I like and more. So I might throw one of these on and kind of test it out. This is like an anti-pollution foundation. So it's going to like protect your skin from pollution for up to 10 hours which is really cool and it also comes in 30 shades so the shade range is awesome so that everybody is kind of covered and got it wow it's like really just sinking in there it's really nice looks so good oh my god really natural finish 
so good. I like how you can still kind of see your skin a little bit. So it's really realistic looking. I really like the finish too, like very natural. Um, not overly dewy, but it's still radiant, you know, makes you glow. I just wanted to share that with you guys. You can check out their products. I'll have them all linked in the description box below. I'm just going to finish up my little morning routine and kind of finish getting prepped for the day. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay. Coffee and darts. This is our new uh, hangout spot. New hangout spot. Hunter's side garage with the darts. We're about to clean this. This bitch out. We are gonna, we're gonna make it cool. It's like a clubhouse. Here we go. Go. Get it together, Julia. Okay, we've got all the flowers unloaded from yesterday that we got at Lowe's, which you guys would have seen in the last vlog. So today we are going to plant them before they sit too long and die. Also, uh, I was obviously cutting down my branches yesterday and I was an idiot and didn't even realize that all the leaves would fall off. So now I'm going to have to go pick those up one by one or they're just going to sit there. So our plan is to put the oranges in here. Yeah, I was just gonna see if you wanted to plant these with me, or I could do it. No, yeah, but I want the, I, I definitely do. Right. See where I, the trees were when I weeded yesterday? Yes, I, I was just showing that. And the leaves, I was stupid. I gotta pick those up. Okay, but we do, do we need to soak this soil really quick? Kind of make it warm, or make it wet. Maybe like damp them a little bit? Yeah. Maybe. I think so. Okay. Yeah, let me, let me put some different clothes on. Hey, do you know where like the different heads are? What heads? Like the water hose heads. I've bought them like multiple and they've like... I've never, I feel like we, they keep breaking. What I'm saying though, instead of digging so deep. Yeah, I know, just a little bit. Better. Pack it tight. It's not a bit too warm. Just want to make sure that the roots are covered. He says only water twice a week. So, we should have more like water than make it up. Dude! Look. Oh. It's pretty. Just our rest of our yard. <laughs> Next up, planters. Yeah, this is going to look so cute right here. I love it. They're, they're uh, not as big as I thought, but I'm, I'm I glad they're not too big. I agree. Okay, so we're gonna, if we do our garden soil, why don't we, should we take like the bottom of the boxwoods and like chip them off into there? Let me, uh, hold on. What I was thinking. Do you know that rock we bought? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or half bag at the bottom each. You think? This would also allow for like water to drain. Maybe a full bag. The rocks fall out the hole in the bottom. The rocks fall out? We're not really gonna move them though. And would you rather the rocks fall out or soil? Right. Let me grab one bag of that. Okay. Here's the other thing. It's, these are going to make it heavy. I know. So. That's what I'm saying.
will, the, the top one will be five. Yeah. That's good. And then five. We still need to power wash the back porch, but there you go. It's just a lemon tree. We added these white flowers around to make it a little bit more full while the lemon tree is like small. And we'll probably change these seasonally, maybe. I don't know. Well, I want the lemon tree to stay. No, no, no. I mean, the lemon tree will stay, but I'm saying these flowers, depending on how they do. And Julia thinks it'll be a good idea to add some fake lemon trees. <laughs> I have these trees. I'm like, you're just tempted to put them in. Do they even match? Maybe from far away you can be able to tell them. Oh my god. Are they sturdy? It needs to be like, if you're gonna do yeah, it, it, needs to be like it needs to be like right here. You like blend in. That. It's pretty good. <laughs> That's funny. I feel like it's gonna weigh down the plant yeah, though. Yeah, you gonna mess up. This is why we're flock thumbs, because they do shit like this. Good idea though. Alright. Alright, on to the next. We're gonna put it over here. And these are just, this isn't where they're gonna be. We're, we have them spread out so we can clean off the porch. decorating our coffee bar, kind of redoing it. So I, the coffee bar is like one of my favorite little nooks of the house because we just use it so much. And I've never really realized how much I love having a coffee bar until having one in this um, space. And it's just cozy and like I spend so much time here in the morning. So I was on Pinterest and I came across this really cute coffee bar. I'll try to put the picture up on the screen. Um, so you can see it like full version, but I was like, you know, this is really cute. They have like their syrups. They have like, it just looks like a little cafe corner or something. And I was like, I need to step it up. Our coffee bar is like so boring. I thought I'd like show you guys kind of how I'm putting it together today. So I'm just going to kind of play around with it. I've got all of my materials ordered some of these skinny syrups on Amazon. They're like zero sugar, zero calorie, um, just to have on the coffee bar in case anybody wants them. I also loved how they had little um, jars, like cute glass jars for their syrups. So I found these little bitter jars on Amazon. They're for bitters, like literally for a cocktail bar. But I loved the patterns. And I thought those would be so cute and so much more like our vibe for a coffee bar. So it kind of just took the inspiration and went with it. Um, also got a little canister for our coffee beans. I just like the wood top, thought that was cute. A little wooden shelf. I'll link all of the stuff below. Um, but I just thought I'd get some things to kind of zhuzh it up. And then I also found these little cute guys for uh, at Central Market, the grocery store. They're like little Halloween themed, um, like spoon rests. And I know they're kind of cheesy, but like, I low-key like like a little bit of cheesiness just like a splash of it I think it's fun and especially for like a little area like a coffee bar I feel like having a little themed like spoon rest would be really cute 
and I know it's like not super super aesthetic but I feel like I would make an exception for this item like this is fun it's really cute so I'll see if I can find these online they're really cute though and then my add in some other um, fall decor but we'll see how much I can fit on here so let's just go at it first things first is I'm going to pour my syrups into their jars and I got one pumpkin spice. Um, and then this is like a tri pack. I actually really like this. This is like my favorite vanilla syrup. It's you can also get it on Amazon by 1883. It's like a really nice um, syrup that tastes really good. It's not sugar free though. <laughs> um, and then there's a salted caramel one that I think is going to be really good. So that's going to be the three. All vanilla, pumpkin, and salted caramel. And then I'll just put these like on backstock. And you can switch them out like seasonally or whatever. So I'll do the vanilla in the biggest one because that's probably the one that we use the most. all the salted caramel let's see i feel like the pumpkin well, okay. i think pumpkin would be darker but it's not pumpkin is it with the circular thingies on them okay so just circle for pumpkins so let's just put it that way those look so cute. That's like the best idea ever, I think. Just a fun little way to have your coffee bar a little more fun. Okay. So, I don't think I'm going to use this anymore. This was like older. Couldn't be used. Probably use it somewhere else. But I think I want to change this out. Let's see. Um, and same with this for now. I think I'm going to put it down. These are like regular coffee beans and then these are espresso beans. So, so this is super cute. This is from Amazon and I just really liked it. It was like so easy to put together, super affordable. It's like a little wooden shelf. So I can't decide if I want that on this side. And I was thinking maybe I put the syrups like up here but now I'm feeling like that's all kind of blending in together but that does look really cute huh I love it cleaning everything coffee grinds are so messy it's like the messiest thing ever that does look really cute but I also was thinking a tray would be cute also thought this would be really cute I found this little guy at home goods and I thought it would be really cute to fill with like seasonal decor. Um, if you have like a Keurig, I feel like it'd be really cute to put your Keurig cups in here. But I don't have a Keurig, so I'm like, what else can I put? But I just like, I'm really into this pedestal style container right now. I feel like it adds different like levels and it looks really cute. So let me see if I could fill this with something. I hate these stickers. Then, if you guys watched our vlog where we went to Lowe's, I actually got these little pumpkins. And I feel like the perfect little filler for this bowl. And you could really stick this anywhere, but wash. I think it's a cute little accent and it kind of is tasteful decor because fall decor can get, or any decor, like seasonal decor, if like can get pretty tacky quickly. That's a little too many. Okay. So, like, that's super cute, and it just adds, like, a fun little... <gasps> I love it. Okay. I was thinking more of a tray, so I wonder if something like this would work. Um, I can't remember where I got this, but I'll link it. I think there's some on Amazon like this. Maybe it got on Amazon. But I feel like that might look better. And maybe I'll use this as more of a decor item. Here. No, 
that shelf was cute. Oh. Here we go. Okay, I have this jar from Amazon actually that probably be really good. Here. And I could take the lid off and then put spoons in it just to like fill it with something. I could just get some like stirring sticks or something. Um, and then to put as like the spoon rest. So like say you're you know stirring and then put it down so someone else can do it before you put it all in the thing. Um, I'm kind of liking spider web. I feel like, well, or the pumpkin. Hunter, which dish do you think for the coffee bar? You come look. It's cute. Maybe some flowers. Yeah, it looks pretty cute actually just to add aesthetic you know obviously you can like put everything away but i feel like it's cute to walk by the coffee bar and have like you just want it to feel more like a vibe you know if you want to i just had this epiphany the other day i'm like the coffee bar needs to be way cuter okay so which well i kind of like that one or the pumpkin it's kind of a lot of orange That's like a combo. I'm gonna do the pumpkin for now. We'll put these in and we'll rotate them closer to Halloween. <laughs> right there. I think that looks pretty good. And it's cute. I just flip these, like instead of like this, I just flip them upside down. That's kind of like how they do it in Italy. And then I also have these little glass espresso um, shot glasses that I get a lot of questions about. I got these at um world market but uh, they're also on amazon so i'll link these two i feel like the last thing that would be cute is like you could stack the little saucer dishes for the spices in the back just i think that looks really cute and i'll have to get some new spoons but just makes it a little bit more fun, a little bit more thematic, and you can just switch out the flowers or the little bowl decor. Like, if it's you know not a holiday season, you could put just like citrus in there. That would be really cute. Um, you could do for Christmas. I'll have to figure out something. Maybe like little pine cones or something, and you could switch out your little dish. Just a kind of a fun area. I'm not loving that jar. I think I maybe maybe just a different color or something, but I don't know. Looks pretty cute though. So that's the coffee bar decor. I lied, I just added a few things. <laughs> Books, switch the flowers, and then put the spoon rest over there. Um, just to balance it out. Okay, that's all. I'm not touching it anymore. Okay, it's later and I wanna show Hunter the coffee bar because he's been so busy all day. <laughs> just made some dinner with leftovers from last night's dinner. Yeah. Which I'm excited for it. Okay. Well, let's look at the coffee dun, dun, dun. bar. Ooh, I like it. You like it? I do. What do you think? I it's like cute, it. right? Some of the things we got recently. I know, right? Isn't it cute? I like the pumpkin. It's like perfect. Doesn't it feel like a little more homey it when feels, you come yeah. over here? It, and it, you can t it feels fall. I know. It's that's like what perfect. I wanted. Yeah. And it, I feel like it looks more clean, too. I, I like agree. this in the middle of the bar. Yeah. Versus like in the corner. I agree. Yeah, I like it. It's cute, these, right? These turn out really good. Aren't those cool? Those are the syrups. Yeah. And you said those were for bitters? They're for bitters for a cocktail bar, but I loved the patterns because like they look a little more like, I don't know, cool yeah, and unique. I really like it. I know, it's so cute. And I thought these are just cookbooks, but we should totally get coffee books. That would be cute on a coffee bar. We'll get like, I should order some on Amazon, like coffee Ooh. recipes, even though. Does this know. one even fit on the clip? No, it's just for looks. Oh, <laughs> this is what I had for the art Yeah, it's cute one. though. I like it. Well, it turned out so good. Oh, what I was asking you earlier was which dish would you have picked for the spoon rest and it's kind of cheesy but i kind of like it i kind of i was thinking for now the pumpkin and then closer to halloween we could switch with these out yeah i i think i would like this one that's what i was debating on it, i know it's like i don't know and it, looks, we... it looks more like a spoon rest anyways okay and we gotta get better we need coffee spoons like cute like gold or something mm -hmm. okay we'll do that i one. like it yeah i want to clean off this uh board we need to clean off backsplash too i know but um it looks really good. 
Yay, yeah. I'm glad you like it. I feel like maybe when we make coffees, it might be a good idea for us to pull out the uh, bar mat that you got me. Yeah. And like do the tamp uh, tamper on there. Tamper on the bar mat. I know, saying how messy this it's thing gets. It it's gets so messy. messy. Clean up all the time, but it's it's a great espresso maker. Great espresso maker. I love it. Oh, it looks cool. so good. Good job. Yay, thanks, babe. It's uh, like it's like very clean and sleek. I know. Keep it that way. Yeah, you just gotta clean up the coffee grounds. Love it. Great job, babe. Thanks, hon. Okay, we're gonna eat some dinner, and um, ooh, you put cheddar cheese in here, yum. We're gonna eat dinner, and then we're gonna go to my parents' house to watch Stars, Stars game. game, cause they're in the playoffs. The, oh, the Stanley Cup, it's like in the finals. This is a championship. Yeah, these are like. The oh, this is like it is like, like this is like the yeah. World Series for hockey. Exactly. Got it. It's like the Super Bowl. It's like the Super Bowl. That's gonna fall. Um, and it's Game Six, and so they gotta win Game Six to send it to Game Seven. Okay. Mm mhm. How's my uh? Mm. Dinner snack. Fire. Good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Leftover. Chips and salsa. It's basically leftovers thrown in a tortilla, added some cheese. I'm telling you. And the leftovers, what was the that's leftovers? That's the best dish it's like ever. Pulled pork and rice and beans. It's pork. It's pork from um, Macero. It's called the their braised pork. Mm-hmm. So good. It is so good. It's their best dish. I think. Mm-hmm. Salsa. Mm. Mmm, so bomb. So happy. But. It's not, here's the thing. Isn't this like so much faster and easier than going somewhere? Yeah, it is, really. I just didn't want to like, oh actually now our dishwasher, someone came to fix the dishwasher. Today. Dishwasher is working great. Literally just an hour. But actually it needed a full new um, system in the door. When our house got, or when it was a power outage in the neighborhood recently, mm. it burnt the fuse. Mm. And basically the whole like, control panel mm -hmm. that's in the door that completely that like, cracked out so we had to get a new one of those mm. so it's good now Four, four hundred dollars later it's hard to cook when your dishwasher's broken you don't want to cook nothing mm -hmm. i'll tell you that right goose right not that you cook anything because you don't have thumbs but you know what i mean it is or you're more mindful like what am i going to cook that doesn't require, require a bunch of dishes a ton of dishes or like Dishes that are hard to hand clean. Exactly. So we went four days without dishwasher, which no. wasn't so bad, honestly. Like, we're not complaining. Because no, no, no. We, we just cook a lot. When we lived in California, we didn't have a dishwasher for three years. Right. We just hand washed them all. I forgot about so that. So I got used to it. That's true. Okay, I think I'm going to go to um, Trader Joe's tomorrow. Get food. Okay. Or Central. We have to, um, yeah, we have a busy day tomorrow. We're it's busy. the end of the month, and I feel like we're finally caught up on work. Mm-hmm. Barely. Feeling good. Yeah. And we still have a couple more days of, like, grind. Mm-hmm. But once we're there, we on to the next month. Mm-hmm. 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 Let's go with that salsa. This is good. I'm really impressed by your coffee bar. Thanks. Like... It's, is that what you expected? It's simple. It's more. Yeah. It's more not not basic in terms of like poorly done. Like simple in terms of like sleek. Yeah. What did it, you think it was gonna be? I don't and know. What, what did you think when you thought in your mind like coffee, coffee bar decor? I honestly don't know. No. Oh, yeah. next is we're decorating. Then we're gonna do like a full decorating sesh, which we haven't started yet. We've just started like making updates. So. Yeah. So we got yeah. going to decorate with us. Mm-hmm. In a little fall home tour. No, I'll be soon though, because yeah. time's a ticket. Yeah. Sit tight. Mm -hmm. Don't go anywhere. Stay in your seat. Mm -hmm. we'll, be, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll probably have videos like every day in the next few days. Probably. We have like a lot of videos. Lucky y'all. We just got really excited. Yeah. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the vlog. We'll see you next time. Love you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye. Be your